Sergeant Terrence Carraway died in that shooting, and he has been described as the man who loved serving his community. Our Michael Fuller spoke to those who knew him best today. He's in Florence tonight with more. We're in the neighborhood where the fatal incident took place. We're actually at the corner of Ashton and Tinson. And if you take a look behind me again, there is still caution tape. You see right there that police car. That is still Officer Carraway's car from the incident that happened on Wednesday afternoon. Now, again, we learned that Fred Hopkins has formally been charged with the murder of Officer Terrence Carraway. And the community is still reeling. But we had the opportunity earlier today to speak not only to the community, but to his family, his cousin. And he tells us how the family is feeling. Well loved, well liked, never had a problem with anybody. Relationship, one of the best first cousins you can ever have. William Carraway describes what it was like when he got the call that his first cousin had passed. I mean, it's a heartbreaking thing. I mean, you don't expect to get this kind of call when you're out, you know, and just somebody calls you and says it's him and you're like, no, it's not. And then somebody gives you a call back and confirm that, you know, it really has happened. It kind of takes something out of you. Man, it's a big loss. I mean, like I say, the whole community, Darlington, Florence, pretty much everybody that knew him liked or loved him, either one. I mean, everybody knew him. Everybody loved him. Everybody liked him. They cared about him. I mean, there's pretty much no other way to sums it up, but he was just great. And although it's a rough time for his family, he says they'll always be Caraway strong. It's, it's a hard thing. They're taking it hard. I mean, everybody is pulling together and sticking together. We carry away strong, always will be, but everybody is pretty much, it's like glue, basically. Everybody is pretty much sticking together. Now, again, there are still three officers in critical condition, and we'll have more information for you as it becomes available. Reporting here in Florence, Michael Fuller, News 19, WLTX. All right, uh, Michael, thank you. We understand the family is having a church event to remember Caraway on Sunday, but there's going to be a public viewing for Caraway next week. It is Monday from 9 until 11 at the Florence Civic Center. Then a memorial service will follow that day at noon.